Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development and today we are gonna be going over the Step Up. This is a great exercise to add to your arsenal for glute training, especially if you've already nailed down our other videos that'll be in the description box, like the hip thrust, the 45 degree hip extension, the bent knee RDL, and so on and so forth. So headed over to the Step Up. Some common mistakes that we see are people using their back foot to push them up or using a bench that is too high. So when we're looking at the Step Up, up here, especially really trying to focus on glutes, we want to pick a bench height that is going to be in our active range of hip extension. So if I look at these different heights here, let's say that we're going to do a good, better, best. This would be the good, this would be the better, and best would be a few more blocks of these that we do not have. The reason that this is a little bit better than this is that this is pushing my hips a little bit out of that active range. So that's gonna happen when you start to see your hips tilt because you can't get your, your leg up high enough or as you're standing here, you can't have the stabilization for that hip extension to drive that leg up. Another reason that this is only good instead of better is because it is a little bit soft here. So the reason that I'm wearing these funky shoes that are actually barefoot shoes is because especially when we're training legs, we wanna be able to have as much stability as possible. So think through, would you rather do a squat with a lot of weight on your bed or squat with a lot of weight on cement? I'm gonna guess your answer is cement because then you would be right because squatting on a bed with a lot of weight would feel like crap. So same goes for your shoes. If you have a lot of cushion in your shoes or you're using a super padded box, you're not gonna have that stability pressing back. So like I was talking about within that leg pushing off, you'll see people come here and push off this back leg. This back leg is really just there for stability more than anything. So you're gonna turn your hips and make sure your pelvis is sturdy. You're gonna engage your core. You're gonna really lean into this front leg and you're gonna drive into this front foot or whatever foot is elevated. So again, leaning forward, this is just using a stabilization and I'm going to drive up. Now when I come down, I'm not just stepping down. That is going to take away a big part of the exercise. We're actually thinking about shifting our hips back and being able to lower down again without putting too much support on this leg. So to see it in action on this and on the bench, and then to move over to the bench for you to see it on a little bit higher surface, but it is a little bit padded, so I have a little bit less stability here. As you can see, some less stability and driving those hips back. So that's gonna be a great exercise to add to your arsenal, as well as our split squats and reverse lunges, so check out those videos as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any other videos, then definitely check out the rest of our YouTube channel. Or if you wanna look at some articles or some different resources, check us out at physiquedevelopment.com or other social channels.